Real American. If you're awake and I'm not, please wake me up. Thanks, Buildmaster. I've recently been obsessed with this song called uh, I Am a Real American by Rick Derringer because it's just fantastic. You guys should listen to it, look it up on YouTube. Um, but I think it's funnier that Alex is referring to himself as Buildmaster. After class, me and Alex got a bite at uh, McDonald's because I got his uh, brought him over to get his car. And they have side salads on the dollar menu, and they're they're pretty nice little side salads. I didn't realize that. Like, I always get a McDouble, or in this case a McChicken, which I think is probably a healthier choice, even though everything is bad for you. But anyway, yeah, that, that's a pretty big salad for a dollar. So if you have to eat a McDonald's, they do have salads, although they're probably not very good for you either. But probably better for you than a McDouble. Awesome thing that happened today is my package came. My mouse. The mouse I ordered because that mouse is pretty much broken. The, the clicker is like double clicking when I'm just single clicking and stuff like that. So I'm glad I ordered this. I'm excited to open it. And I really want to try it out. Alright, I just got it out of the box. I, uh, this is... This is the mouse hooked up, and I know this is probably going to end up being more like a review, but whatever. This is the Logitech G500 mouse review. It fits in my hand really nicely. Um, I've been using smaller mice uh, the last few years, and I have really huge hands. So this is, this is actually a big improvement just because um, I have large hands, and I mean, it's not the biggest mouse I could get, but it's actually really comfortable, especially this little section down here, which is grooved for the thumb. Pretty big fan of that. Another interesting thing is you probably see these LEDs. That's controlled by uh, these buttons right here. We have plus and minus, and we have three different settings, one, two, and three. And that actually controls the sensitivity of the mouse on screen. So for example, you can see my mouse moving around really easily. It's because I'm on the third setting. Now if I drop it down a setting and hit the minus button, it becomes a little more difficult to move, like it doesn't go as far, and then I can drop it down one more to the first setting, and it barely moves at all. Now they advertise this mouse as a gaming mouse, and well, that's for good reason. For example, if you were going to use those little buttons in a shooting game, uh, you might keep it on the third setting, the highest setting whenever you're just playing the game, but if you pick up a sniper rifle, you could drop it down to the lowest setting, and then you can move the mouse as much as you want, but it's you're only going to move your cursor a little bit, so it would be good if you're sniping. So it's very much a gamer mouse. Um, which is okay, because I am a PC gamer predominantly over consoles, but I'm mostly just going to be doing, like, Final Cut work with it. Because the mouse has ten buttons, I decided to take advantage of two of those and make them zoom in and out. So the buttons on the mouse actually zoom in and out of my timeline, which is, like, really, really useful. I should note that if you're watching this and you have a Mac, there is absolutely no Mac support for this mouse. If you want to program the buttons and have it zoom in and out and stuff, you actually have to do it on a Windows computer. Luckily, the mouse actually has internal memory, so when you do it on a computer, it saves it to the mouse, and then whenever you plug it into your Mac, it will work. So that's how I got it to work. Other than that little issue, and just from what I've used today, it seems like a pretty good mouse, and I'm looking forward to using it. In order to open this up for just a little bit of discussion, have you guys ever bought any type of gaming mouse or gaming keyboard or anything like that? And if you haven't, which I don't think a majority of you have, um, do you use wired or wireless um, keyboard and mouse because I used wireless for a long time but then they started screwing up a little and then I was like wait why even use wireless because it's not like I'm across the room I might as well just use wired even so people have different preferences and I know that even wireless accessories have become a lot more popular in fact I believe there's more wireless mice now available on Newegg than there are wired mice anyway that's it for today let's meet back tomorrow shall we oh and one other thing Yesterday I had an idea for the Let's Play channel. I was like, hey, I don't have any kind of schedule out because people may not understand exactly what I'm doing. I know I explained it to you guys, but it's not on the channel and it was a little confusing. So I decided to actually make a Google Calendar public that shows when each LP is going to come out. So I put that down in the description box if you want to check it out. It's also on the LP channel and um, it's going to be in the description box of every LP that comes out from here on out. So... Let me know what you think of that, and let me know what you think of the schedule. Right now, then, it goes into mid-June, but as I get more done, it will fill up, and I'm pretty sure that I'll probably finish Earthbound by, like, episode 40-ish or something, so there's probably not going to be all that much Earthbound, and then after Earthbound finishes, Amnesia will start, so um, I'm going to keep updating that, so make sure you take a look at that, and let me know what you think of the schedule.